Welcome everyone to another review. Today we're taking a look at the Samsung 970, which has been out for a little while now, but we've already used it in a ton of our builds and we are certainly noticing the performance improvement. You'll be able to take a look at our results where we put it directly up against the same version, previous generation, and we get a lot of opportunity to test components like this with all of the systems that we build. So today we're going to be testing it in a very high-end system with the Rampage 6 Extreme. But just to go over some of the new specifications here, so we're looking at the Pro version, the 512 gig. We have the new Samsung Phoenix controller, 64 layer VNAND being the Pro it has 2-bit MLC. We have NVMe 1.3. So the main things here, as you would expect, performance improvements up to 30% according to Samsung. And yes, we definitely are seeing some very impressive results, some minor power consumption improvements, improvements to reliability. So we still have a five-year warranty, but 600 terabytes written for this particular version. But the numbers you really want to hear, 3500 megabytes per second read, 2300 write, and 500k 4k random IOPS both ways, which is quite impressive. But let's take a look at our performance results. So that Anvil result is definitely exceptional and you can see that we put it up against the previous generation exactly the same version and for consistency everything was exactly the same, same system, same BIOS, all of our results. So you know should be some fairly good results there on the Asus Rampage 6 Extreme although I did find that initially and this is quite common when you first install your M.2, if you see any performance issues or inconsistencies, it depends on the platform you are using, the motherboard. But these days with DIM.2, depending on how many PCIe devices you are using, you may need to get into your BIOS and reconfigure your PCIe, mainly with Intel where you have a few less PCIe lanes. But you also should certainly update your motherboard BIOS if you see any performance issues. So for this system, I did have to play around in the BIOS a little bit and certainly use the latest BIOS to achieve these results. But yeah, definitely we are seeing real world improvements as well, like installing Windows now on our systems takes like under two minutes off a flash drive. And for someone like me, even though I don't really get the time to, to upgrade my systems, not that it takes much time to install an M.2, it's just definitely worth it. I mean, the amount of time that it saves on just video editing, for example, moving around the large files that I do, editing up to 20 hours of footage for one build log video. I mean, just after one video, I've saved myself a huge amount of time and it pays for itself very quickly. But yeah, it's exceptional to see how far M.2s have come. It's exciting with DIM.2 to be able to do RAID 0 and that's something I'd like to play around with soon. There's actually a build coming up soon where we are going to be doing that. That's it for this video. Thank you to Samsung for sending this product out for review and looking forward to doing more reviews. Thanks for watching.